Okay, we're going to do a quick video on creating the ECU file. Uh, we get some questions on this. It's a pretty straightforward process. There's also these buttons here that will pull up in a PDF and give you step-by-step -step help. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the Create ECU File button. It's going to give us an option for three different ECUs, the 128, the 112, or the 48. I'm going to go ahead and select the 112. Then it's going to pop open a window here. It says Select Appropriate ECU Base 48, 112, or 128 file to merge into. This is your base firmware. I'm going to go ahead and select this one. These ones have already had calibrations put in them. So I'm going to go ahead and select this one. Then it's going to say select the XCAL to merge into the Pro 48, 112, or 128 file. I'm going to go ahead and select this one here. This is the calibration that I want to put into the new firmware. You can use any calibration. Uh, older firmware, newer firmware, different vehicle, uh, different ECU. It doesn't matter. It's going to take whatever is there that's existing in the new software and put that in there if it doesn't exist in the new software then the default values will be loaded if it um, existed in the old software and doesn't exist in the new software those those values just won't exist anymore so it doesn't matter again which ECU or vehicle format you use you can create a base calibration file from any ECU base calibration file. So we're going to go ahead and select this one right here hit open now it's going to ask us what we want to name it. I'm just going to go ahead and overwrite this test file here. We're going to save it as that. And it's going to say, do you want to replace it? We're going to hit yes. And it's going to go through the little process here that's merging all the data over. And once this is complete, we're going to go ahead and flash the issue with our newly created file. So merge completed successfully. It tells you where it saved it, what its name was. Uh, from must be composed to configure your new application. So we're going to hit that. I'm going to reopen the software here and I'm going to go ahead and flash that. So I'm going to go ahead and select Flash ECU Pro 112. Select this file. It's going to go ahead and start connecting. Once it gets connected, you're going to see the progress bar come across and that's going to tell you loading soft boot. That erases everything in there. Now we're loading the application. And once this is done, we just need to cycle the key, and that will store the values into permanent memory. And then you restart, uh, turn the key back on, you're ready to, you're ready to start calibrating.